Well, welcome back, YouTubers. It's your host, TubeBunny, here once again, and today we're going to be doing a review of an Android program called Roam Control. Uh, it's designed primarily for Sprint users who are having trouble getting a good signal, and we'll be looking at that here in today's video. Most of you guys who are Sprint customers are probably all too familiar with this screen on your Android device, staring at it, wondering why there is not a roam only option. Unfortunately, I'm not here to answer that question. I really don't know why there is not a roam only option there. I can only imagine that it has something to do with Sprint not making as much money. Anyway, for those of you who live in an area where Sprint signal is too mediocre to use, but the phone seems to be convinced otherwise, the good people of XDA developers and Mobilism have found a solution to the problem. That solution is in the form of an Android program called Roam Control. Uh, as you can see here, it's pretty simple. You have only three buttons, Automatic, Home Only, and Roam Only. Now let's go over the options in the program here real quick. You got your phone manufacturer selection depending on what kind of phone you have. This is a Samsung Epic. Action after selection, you can just have it um, exit the program so you can save yourself a keystroke or reboot the phone if you have a broken phone or whatever that uh, doesn't play nice with the software. You can also have a notification on the notification bar uh, to remind you that you have the forced roaming item selected. We got HTC specific options, uh, view network status. As you can see here, we are currently on Sprint, or so the phone thinks. And then you can also check for updates there. Anyway, we'll uh, watch it work here real quick. As you can see here, uh, we've got our bars up there. Uh, roaming is represented by a little triangle above the bars. So we're on automatic right now. Uh, we will hit roam only. It'll uh, ask for super user permission. There'll be a no signal there for a quick second, and then that triangle, you should be able to see it there, comes up. So the program's pretty straightforward. This is actually the paid version of it, uh, straight from roamcontrol.com. There's also a free version, uh, courtesy of the good people of mobilism.org. The problem is most of these free versions don't work. They look just like this, and they'll start up to this screen, and they'll even ask for super user permission, but nothing will happen up here. It'll stay on automatic no matter what button you press. There were rumors circulating around that version 1.4 of the free version did work, but I couldn't find any links to that, so I just went ahead and plunked down the $3.99 for the paid version. Uh, does what it's advertised to do, and I'd have to say it's actually probably worth the $3.99, uh, before they get the free version updated. It's also worth mentioning that there's a uh, widget thing for the Today screen. It's pretty straightforward. It looks like this, just like the program. You've got Auto, Home, and Roam Only. Uh, you just hit a button, Super User Permission Request at the bottom, and then it'll uh, do its thing there at the top. That's about all there is to it. I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, it works pretty great, though. And I hope you enjoyed the video today. I'm TubeBunny. Uh, my channel is TubeBunny.co.cc. Uh, don't forget to like, rate, friend request, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you guys next week.